Thank you all so much for such a positive reception to my last video. I reached a very important milestone and could not have done it without you guys. Enjoy the video. I'll admit, when I started reading the reddit post that this video will cover, I thought it was fake. It was so bizarre and unusual that I couldn't wrap my head around it. Imagine my surprise when I got farther down the post and saw the horrifying proof that had been posted, dispelling all my feelings of skepticism. In May of 2013, a post appeared on the Off My Chest subreddit that shocked thousands. r slash Off My Chest is a subreddit where users are free to share deeply emotional secrets without feeling judged by the community. Due to the sensitive and heavy subject matter of many of the posts, many users on the subreddit use throwaway accounts, accounts created for the sole purpose of being abandoned after the user has cleared their conscience. Completely understandable. We all have secrets we wouldn't want traced back to us after all. Anyway, this post was written by a user on such an account, which they creatively named Poison by Mom. Any guesses as to what they wanted to get off their chest? Poisoned by Mom starts off the post by explaining that his family isn't the most supportive. He says that for the past 10 years, ever since he became an adult, his mother has been against him moving out of her house. Any sign of independence, such as getting a job as a line cook or getting hired as a computer programmer, was met with negative reactions and hostility from his parents and sister. Poisoned by Mom tried to ignore them and even moved out of the house at one point but he had to move back in when he lost his job a month after the move. Of course, he didn't just give up. He was in touch with recruiters and was attending job interviews left and right. And again, the nastiness and hostility from his family surfaced. They would claim he was acting distant and not caring for them. He quickly identified a pattern and realized the reason behind their behavior. It seemed that his parents were obsessed with control hateful of the fact that their son wanted to make a change and better his life. A month passed, and Poisoned by Mom was able to reapply and get back his previous job as a computer programmer. Only this time, it was in a new city that he would have to relocate to. He took the leap, preparing to live on a tight budget and work for a better life. A few days before his move, his family began exhibiting the same hostile behavior as before, but this time, it would escalate in an extremely disturbing way. The day before he was scheduled to leave, Poisoned by Mom was given two styrofoam ramen noodle cups by his mother. The cups were missing their outer cardboard packaging. Afraid that his family would try to sabotage his life if they were angered, he graciously accepted the gift, along with more food items. And with that he was on his way, free to start his new life. Poisoned by Mom arrived at the motel he would be staying in and rested for the night. The next day, he had his first day of work, after which he decided to indulge in a cup of ramen noodles given to him by his loving mother. He felt ill soon after consuming the noodles. He shared in his post that it wasn't the first time he had felt this way, as his sister had fed him something in late 2011 that had caused a similar sensation. He felt weak, lightheaded and short of breath. He was able to overcome his feelings of sickness by drinking water. This next part is so twisted. During the next week, his mother would repeatedly call him to remind him to eat his ramen noodles. As stated before, Poison by Mom was on a very tight budget, and so his mother feigned concern for his financial situation, using it as leverage to try to convince him to rely on the meals she had given him. Poisoned by Mom played it smart. He did not tell his mom that he had already eaten a cup of ramen. He began to suspect he was poisoned, and did some research to find out just what he had ingested. His research led him to determine he had ingested cyanide. Yes, you heard me right, cyanide. A poison so effectively lethal that espionage organizations provide some agents with cyanide pills to end their own lives if they are captured. His reaction to this discovery was so raw and real that I'll just have to read it out to you. Upon realizing his mother could have poisoned him with cyanide, poisoned by mom reflects. Now that is something that you should never have to think, that your own mother would do that to you. So I resisted that thought, because I simply could not bear to think that. 
Imagine the woman that had raised you your whole life, who was supposed to take care of you, betraying you so severely. A pang of pity struck through me when I put myself in his shoes. Poisoned by mom did not let his suspicions fester for long. He ordered a cyanide test kit online and tested the ramen as soon as he could. In this video provided by the sellers of the test, you can see how to perform and read the different results that appear. The sample, in this case a piece of ramen, will be placed on the left hand side of the test. Clean water will then be poured over the sample. If a blue strip appears in the middle section of the test, there are traces of cyanide in the sample. Simple enough, right? Here are the results of the test that Poison by Mom performed. His suspicions were confirmed. His own mother had actually poisoned him. He ended the thread by saying, I guess I am going to have to call the cops, and I will never speak to my family again. This was the end of the first post by user Poisoned by Mom. Most replies to this thread were shocked users that could not believe what they had read. Some comments advised Poisoned by Mom to seek out medical attention. Others told him he should contact the authorities as soon as possible and brainstormed ways to gather proof on his mother's crime. Poisoned by Mom hung around the thread, thanking users for their concerns and asking them to elaborate on their advice to him. He later edited his post, informing everyone of his current location, Topeka, Kansas. He explained that he had visited the local police station at the government building where he worked and had spoken with an officer. He showed the officer the ramen cup and the positive cyanide test, but the officer said that since both objects had been opened, they could have been contaminated. The way it looked to the officer, poisoned by mom was just some crazy guy who sprinkled some cyanide on ramen and tried blaming his mother for it. This is about all we can gather from this incredulous first post. But the story doesn't end there. Poisoned by Mom had promised updates on his situation, and he would deliver. Five months of radio silence passed. Then, in October of 2013, Poisoned by Mom provided an update. He reminded everyone of the unsuccessful police report he had filed. He also informed users he had gone no contact with his family. During the last five months, he had been living in a cheap motel in Topeka, Kansas, and working his state government job as a software developer. Everything was going fine, but his family would not let sleeping dogs lie. The day before the post, he got to his motel after finishing work, and the receptionist told him a woman had called their phone looking for him, claiming she was his mother. In order to transfer a call, Motel Protocol dictates that the name of the person and their room number be provided. The woman was unable to provide a room number. Poisoned by Mom found it strange that his mother hadn't even tried to call his cell phone, making him think that she only wanted to confirm he still lived at the motel and in what room. In the morning on the day the post was created, Poisoned by Mom began walking to the bus stop he routinely took to get to his job. Imagine his panic when on the way to the stop, someone in a car he had never seen before beckoned to him with their finger. He looked at the car but kept on walking. The person opened the car door, revealing that they were wearing a black outfit with their hood up. Poisoned by mom saw their face and was able to confirm it was his mother. She had used a rental car to visit him like she said she might, but her attire was definitely not in character for her. His mother called out to him, asking him to come here. He rejected the request and kept his distance. She explained that she was just checking in and making sure he was okay. Poisoned by mom replied bluntly, yes, I am. His mother insisted on him giving her a hug, but once again, he refused. Poisoned by mom had many fears racing through his mind at this point. He was unsure if anyone else had traveled with his mother and was in her car. He also knew that his mother owned a gun and was very proficient with it. He escaped the situation, fleeing from his mother and taking another bus to get to work. This is where he reached out to the community, visibly shaken and asking advice on his next steps. He ended the post by sharing his fears. I really think that it is not safe for me here in Topeka, so if anyone knows of any net development jobs, please PM me. Also. Please give me some advice. 
The replies to the threat had obviously sensed the complexity of the situation poisoned by Mom was in. His mother, who had poisoned him, now knew where he lived. A former Witness Protection Agency coordinator took this very seriously, giving him a step-by-step -step guide on how to deal with a stalker. Many other users echoed this sentiment, advising him to get a restraining order, arm himself, or even move. Poisoned by Mom replied to some comments, stating he would not be opposed to moving. He also informed users that his mom lived in a different state than him, so she must not have been working at the time she had visited. He replied to fewer posts this time, and then again, there was radio silence. Then, three months later, he came back to the threat. In January of 2014, he provided much-needed closure for the users that had followed his story along the way. His last comment ever reads, By the way, I have moved out of state since making my last thread with this account, and am doing very well with a nice job, and am in better health. He also gave some final thoughts on why he thought his mother would do all this to him. But in the end, only a diagnosis from a mental health professional would give us definitive answers behind the motives of his mother. That is how this story ends. It was a wild ride, one where you're dropped into the mayhem and have to claw your way out. But thankfully, in the end, it provided some closure and some hope that Poisoned by Mom can live a happy life, albeit avoiding his family. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. Catch you later.